I'm dripping junket. How are you all doing? Ralph here. Ralph is reviewed to Team No Steep. Um, today we're going to be looking at a little bit of battery safety. I'm not going to get into Ohm's Law. I'm not going to get into working out how much of a, a dip you get on your batteries and how much sag they produce and the amperage that you draw in and all that. We're going to look purely at the physical side of things. Now, I've got this little Psycho Series uh, box, which... It's made out of wood, as you can see. It does batter the batteries. It's a fully mechanical thing. There's nothing inside that can go wrong, apart from the batteries, which we'll look at in a sec. I'll have a quick vape on. Nothing in there can short out, nothing can go wrong. Now, I've been working on this little jobby, this little tiny, I don't know if how well the camera will pick it up, but in the end it's a lot it's smaller than this is and this is tight inside. I've been really struggling trying to fit everything in. Look, let's have a look. We'll go sneaky peek. Yeah. So series box again. I'll have another vape. One of the things that I lighted to me because um, obviously it's all made of aluminium or alloy or whatever these boxes are made out of is if your insulation on your batteries ain't tip top you, you're in with a good chance of shorting it out now I've got one of my old soldiers here look and look at the state of him you can see where he's caught on battery terminals and where he's been used and abused I bet I've had it a year Still takes a good charge, still delivers the goods. The old Sony VTC4, probably dropping off a little bit, but still a very serviceable battery. However, with the insulation being in the state that it's in, it's not really safe to use. Certainly not in, in a tube mod, you know, in your mech mod. This is just made of copper with a brass switch. There's no safety features, no nothing. If you get a short in there, you're in trouble. Same with this. And this is what I found out, I'm fitting the lid, and the lid's really tight. I've got another lid that I'm going to machine up in my workshop at a later date. Um, push the lid on, fired up. I thought, guys, it's shorted out. Pulled the lid off, stopped. No worries. What it was, if you can see, some of this was exposed. The, the main body, the casing. There you go, look at that, look. And it had fluffed up, and the lid was touching it, and it was causing... That short, it actually it was that tiny, tiny little corner there, look. So, with that in mind, we're going to do a rewrap. We're going to recover this battery and make it safe to use again, which is a good thing, yeah. Dead, dead simple as well. I've done loads. You'll only need the battery, the scruffy old tramp, yeah. Some of this heat shrink. Now, I got this from Fast Tech, they do loads of different colours, and it is dog shit cheap please 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 buy the real deal don't try and use some that your mates got that ain't really for it or buy it from an electrical shop it will be too thick and when you get into your tube mods or when you get into little tight spaces you're gonna have fat boy batteries that ain't gonna do the business and that's no good so battery heat shrink pair of scissors to trim it with and a hair dryer. Now I've not got my hair dryer here because I use one every day. No. Up on the workbench there, I've got a little art air gun that's made for each shrink. It's not one of them that you've stripped paint with. It's nothing dangerous. It doesn't get too hot. We use it for doing each shrink on the juice bottles when we make them. And I use it in the workshop for each shrinking electrical connectors. Uh, and that MOSFET in there, if you can see it, that's covered in each shrink. That sort of thing. So. What we'll do, we'll go up on the bench, where you've never been, we'll strip him naked, we'll recover him, and the job will be a good one. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are. Here's the offending article. Um, 
First thing we need to do, obviously, is get rid of that gnarly old scruffy wrap. So, it shouldn't be too hard to find a corner. Peel him off, look, boosh, gone. See this? Very, very important. These get a bit damaged along the way, along on their journey. Um, but we're going to reuse him. His little safety cap that goes on the top and just stops things shorting out because these shoulders are, get exposed easily and so on and so forth. So we've got the battery, we've got the little safety ring, we've got a black ink shrink. Doesn't have to be black, like I said earlier. And all we're going to do, we're going to take a piece that is just a little bit longer than the battery. Don't make it too long. We'll get into why in a little while. So all I do, measure it up, hold it with my fingers, get the old scissors on it, trim it straight across. There you go, boosh, jobs are good. Now, I know we call it heat shrink. This stuff should be called heat even tighter. It's, or heat snug or something similar because you're not really shrinking it it's such a tight fit but if you do it like a crisp bag if you roll it get it open a little bit and then feed him on to the battery just squeeze you see how it's creased because it comes on a flat roll give that a little squeeze as you go and that will help you no end in getting that bad boy on there now here's the important bit when you come up to this negative end, don't have too much hanging out. The reason being that what it'll do, it'll curl over, cover this end, and a lot of your mods need quite a surface showing to make contact. So we just need a tiny, tiny little bit. Just enough to go around the corner and stay there, yeah? Same with the top. Just enough to go around the corner, stay there. Remember this, Jobby. We're going to trap him. We're going to place him back in place. Yeah. There you go. So that's all good and ready for a shrink. Now, like I say, I'm going to use my hot air gun. Well, my heat shrink gun. Um, use your missus's air dryer. Use your air dryer if you use one. We don't judge you. Don't use a blowtorch. Don't use anything that gets too hot. Remember, you have got a live battery in your hand. Um, and if it overeats, it's going to vent. You're going to ruin the battery and you might even hurt yourself in the process. So, it might get a bit loud for you. Bear with me. Got my heat shrink gun. Turn him on. Hopefully it's not too loud. Trap that little safety cap. Push your finger over. And now go in. And just start to shrink it. See, it's gone. Boosh. That'll hold it for me. Get the next bit. Roll him around. Nice and even. Concentrate on those creases a little. As you go around. One end's done, flip him over, chase him up, so start where you finished, concentrate on those creases, roll him round, do do do, hit the end like that, nice and gently, look, there you go, quick once over, just to make sure that there's no baggy saggy catchy bits, turn the noisy thing off. So we have gone from this horrible state of affairs that was far from pretty and certainly less than dangerous to this super sleek new looking black and most importantly safe battery. There you go. What could be simpler? We'll go back up top. I'll finish with my usual finish and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, okay. There you go. Remember how we looked in the opening one? Nice shiny. To be fair, I like the black. I think the black works really well. Um, and what I've got, I've got Samsung 25Rs now. I've upgraded as technology has moved along a little bit. And they're blue. I've got the VTC4s, which are green. And I've got the old VTC4s that have been rewrapped in black. So I've got three grades of battery there. I know that the black ones are not the best for eye demand. They're still very safe. But if you're going to use them in, in something like the old Psycho Series box, then you're not going to get the best out of them. 
but they're perfect for all your regulated mods. I know the green ones, my VTCs are absolutely fine for everything, and I know my 25 R's, the blue ones, are the dog's danglers for this sort of thing, for your eye drain, for your series box, for your straight mech mods, for your low ohm builds, what we're running in there. That's about 0.15 in there. 25 amp battery, absolutely safe. So, do your battery safe there. Spend two pounds, wait a week, get your air dryer out, get your scissors out, just vape safe, yeah? For the sake of nothing, and how long did it take me? About four minutes. For the sake of nothing and four minutes, don't carry scruffy batteries around. Don't use batteries that are dangerous. Remember people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you choose? I'll catch you again next time. See you later. Bye-bye.